What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Caps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sonic Caps. This is a bonus reading for June of 2022. This covers an ATF Capricorn and any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, love you guys so much. Um, appreciate everybody from the bottom of my heart chakra. We're at 13,160 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below if you feel guided to donate. Um, and, um, oh, yeah. Brain fart. I'm sorry. I was going to say something else, something else and I forgot. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for all those love and support your channel. Oh yeah. If you uh, think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to uh, share my channel very publicly on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. That was the other thing. Sorry. I, um, I can't speak, man. Somebody don't want me to speak. Ah! <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, I appreciate all the love and support. I really, I do, for real, from the bottom of my heart chakra, I do. Um, it helps support a single mom and two kids and one of her income streams, so I truly appreciate it, you guys. I do. Okay, so um, this is a bonus reading for CAPS for June of 2022. Um, I'm going to do an Oracle card reading like I did last time, and then we'll just go from there. I did receive a couple channel messages in, and I heard Capricorn, so that's why I decided to do y'all's first. So I'm going to do it. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay. So um, the channel message I received was um, um, lies are about to be exposed by someone you would have never uh, expected them to be exposed from. That was the first one. And then about 45 seconds after that, I heard a Capricorn is about to expose lies. So um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. These are psychic intuitive messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your situation and story. So you have to plug the message, message or messages in however they resonate and apply in your own life. For you and your own particular situation okay so lies are about to be exposed by someone you would have never expected them to be exposed from that's the first one so the first one it's not you it's somebody else about to expose some kind of um lie or lies so um expose the truth i'm assuming on the lie or lies it's not you for the first one the second one i heard you are about to expose the truth on some kind of lie or lies. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the uh, exposure, exposure energy over here? Or are you like on the sidelines and, or did you lie and somebody exposing it on you is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling maybe you lied and somebody's about to expose it on you or somebody else lied and you're about to expose it on them. However that resonates and applies. Or somebody else lied and they're just about to expose it on a situation or situations. However that resonates, okay? You have to plug yourself in where you fit, however that resonates and applies, okay? One of you guys is about to be the truth teller here. Uh, but one, you're not. It's somebody else you would have never expected, I heard, about to expose the truth, basically. You plug yourself in where you fit. We've got Snake and Phoenix. Spirit messages you have Sonic up for. A secret prostitution ring is about to be exposed. 
For one, you're about to be shot. For one, you're going to help expose it. Wow, a secret prostitution ring is about to be exposed. For one, you're about to help expose it. For one, you're about to be shocked that it's about to be exposed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit too, if you resonate with that too. So are you the help? Are you going to help expose the secret prostitution ring, or are you going to be shocked when this prostitution ring is about to be exposed? For some, you might be prostitutes in this ring, and I hate to say that, but I'm just being for real. We have to look at all avenues here. So there's a reason you're about to be shocked. It's about to be exposed. Well, obviously you're not going to help expose it if you're in this category. So for some, you could be prostitute or prostitutes in this um, ring. And I'm just being real. I don't feel this is in a place where it's legal, like the Bunny Ranch or something. I feel it's in a place where prostitution is illegal. Just saying, just saying. But one, you're about to help expose it. So kudos to you, sir, ma'am. Whoever you are about to help expose it. Just saying, just saying. Um, we have August egg success success assured with good plans and hard work key successful outcome to your problem i think this is um you helping expose the prostitution ring for one of you guys you go with your bad self Experiments to do should have this like this. A Capricorn is about to start getting a lot of spam phone calls. A lot. Know this. A Capricorn is about to start getting a lot of spam phone calls. Know this. So for one of you guys, you're about to start getting a lot of spam phone calls. So um, you plug yourself in where you fit. Spam phone calls. Um, we all know what that is. So, you know, crazy phone calls. Nobody enjoys the spam phone calls. Um, that's at least for one of you guys. You have to plug it in how it resonates. I feel guided to get a moon cycle. We have snake and phoenix for some. Oh, you've got double fire sign energy. So for some, I certainly feel you're dealing with fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. For some, I certainly feel you're dealing with two or two plus Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, they got Aries, Leo, or Sides, and the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Phoebe, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. An Aries that was once a very positive part of your life is about to become a, a pain in your ass. Know this in a huge way. Oh, my Lord. I heard an Aries that was once a very positive part of your life is about to become a pain in your ass. Know this. So um, you have to plug this Aries in, how they resonate in your life. Um, caps, I feel it to be a masculine or feminine Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, 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 Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Caps, it's Aries energy, um, masculine or feminine Aries. Um, I heard they were once a very positive part of your life. They're about to become a huge pain in your ass. So however this Aries applies in your life. For one, you are their boss. For one, they are your boss. For one, they are in law. For one, they are a co worker. Okay, so this Aries energy, for one, they're, they are an in-law. For one, they are, for one, they're an ex-in-law. One, they're an ex-in-law. So for one, they're in-law yours. For one, they're an ex-in-law yours. For one, they are a boss of yours. And for one, you are a boss of theirs. Um, and for one, they're a co-worker. So you plug it in how it resonates a lot of work energy. So... For one, they are your boss. For one, you are their boss. For one, they are a co-worker. For one, they are in-law. For one, they are ex-in-law. So family and work energy. Aries energy, very strong. Once they were a very positive part of your life, now they're about to become a huge pain in your ass. So you plug it in, how it resonates. 
Number 21 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 21, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life. Number 21. So Aries, I told you guys, uh, heavy fire sign energy. And now we got Aries energy in there, very strong. So Aries is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius are fire signs. Know that an Aquarius is about to give a Leo very important information. A Leo feminine. She will go to a lawyer soon. Know this. Okay, I heard. Oh, okay, I heard. So we got Aquarius and uh, Leo fem energy in here. I heard know that an Aquarius is about to give a Leo feminine very important information. And know that she will go to a lawyer soon after this. So that's for at least one of you guys. Some kind of Aquarian energy. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb in here in Jupiter charts. I feel it to be a masculine or feminine Aquarius. It doesn't sound like they've given this Leo feminine this information yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. So I heard know that the Aquarius is going to give this Leo Femme information. And once she gets this information, she is going to go to a lawyer. Um, and it's going to be very, very, very successful. Know this. Very. And it's going to be very, very, very successful. Know this. Very. So whatever the hell information this Aquarian energy is about to give this Leo Femme, it's about to be very useful, very informative information. So much so it's going to drive her to go to a lawyer. But I heard once she goes to the lawyer, it's going to be very, very, very successful. Know this. So that's at least, that's for at least one of you guys. You plug it in, how it resonates. Snake. And Aries is about to stab you in the back in a huge way. A huge, huge, huge way. You are not seeing this coming. You have got such heavy Aries energy in here. Dear God Almighty, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard an Aries is about to stab you in the back in a huge, huge, huge way. You're not seeing this coming. And a Virgo. Aries for some, Virgo for some. Okay, so an Aries energy for some of you guys about to stab you in the back in a huge way. For some, a Virgo energy about to stab you in the back in a huge way. Uh, apparently, you're not seeing this coming. So that's the snake energy here. Your Aries or your Virgo. They could have Aries or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, and Hebrew, Jupiter, charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, I feel they're about to put the fangs in your back. Like, it's like 10 of swords energy, except like 20 or 30 swords with the fangs. <laughs> right the damn back. For some, it's an Aries energy, masculine or femme Aries. For some, it's a Virgo, masculine or feminine Virgo. They could have Aries or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand with Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. But fangs in the back. <laughs> um, whoa, you plug it in, how it resonates. Good Lord. Phoenix. A Capricorn is about to have a lot of strength, a lot of strength, and about to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. One, you are about to get terminated, but you're about to have the strength to move on. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard um, one of you guys is about to have um, a lot of strength. A lot of strength and you're about to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I heard for one, you're about to be terminated and you're about to have the strength to move on. So for one, it's termination energy. Now, of course, you only take the messages that resonate with the rest. If that's not for you, it's not for you. Um, um, I don't, I'm not feeling this is a wrongful termination. Um, I'm, I, it may be for some, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not feeling it is for some. Um, you only, you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So for some, it could be a wrongful termination. For some, not. 
Only you know you're swearing at anybody else. I didn't hear any specifics on it is what I'm saying. So I don't know if it's a wrongful or rightful termination or what have you. I'm not the one terminating you. So I don't know. But at least one of you guys, it sounds like upcoming, you're about to get terminated in the universe. So, But I heard you're going to have strength to move on. So you're going to be like the phoenix rising from the ashes, if that resonates for you. For one, you work for the government and you're about to retire. For one, you work for the government and you're about to retire. Well, that's beautiful. So, Phoenix rising from the ashes energy here. You're taking on the Phoenix energy, whether you're about to get terminated wrongfully or not wrongfully. And uh, one, you are about to retire. So, I think you're about to be like the Phoenix rising from the ashes in both of those situations. You're about to, you're about to um, come up and just rise from the ashes and take on new endeavors, whether it's the strength of this termination, whether it's a rightful termination or a wrongful termination, and moving on to another workplace or a business endeavor or what have you or what have you, or retiring, um, coming into your own and rising from the ashes and doing what the hell you want to do for a ch um, chance in your life, possibly for some. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. One, you're about to retire. One, you're about to get terminated. And for some, the one that's about to get terminated, it could be that Aries energy or the Virgo about to stab you in the damn back. For some, I feel. You plug it in how it resonates. This, oof. For one, you're about to revamp your business. For one, you're about to revamp your business. And for one, heavy legal issues. And for one, heavy legal issues. So when you're about to revamp your business, so one, heavy legal issues. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I feel all those energies, you're rising from the ashes. You're, you're accepting the challenge. You're taking on strength energy, like Leo energy, and you're rising from the ashes. Um, whatever that is, whether it's revamping your business, retiring, getting terminated, or um, the other one. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? August? Children starting in a new school school district next school year. For some living with you, for some not living with you. Okay, I heard children um, starting in a new, new school district next uh, school year. Some living with you, some not living with you. So, um, August is... Um, I'm assuming they'll probably start school in August. For some of them, for some it might be September. I heard next school year. So, you know, August is uh, the beginning of school year for some, some kids, for some it's September. So, um, but we have August. So I feel uh, for some of you guys, your kid, uh, I think it's your children or maybe some children connected to you. You plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, it's uh, kids starting in a new school district, whether it's your children or somebody you're connected to's children. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's probably your children, but you plug it in how it resonates. Heard some living with you, some not living with you. So um, for some, I feel it could be custody changes about to occur possibly for some of you guys um, because they're starting a new school district um, or, um, or you're moving. How would that resonates? How would that resonate? Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work.
a new business endeavor. A new business endeavor, I heard. So one of you guys is about to take on a new business endeavor. So I'm assuming you'll have success assured with good plans and hard work with the new business endeavor, um, which is really beautiful. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Ice cream. Ice cream. I heard ice cream. So one of you guys, maybe you're going to start an ice cream shop or something to do with ice cream. Some kind of new business endeavor, and it's involving ice cream in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But it, it sounds like you're going to have success assured with good plans and hard work with this, whatever it is, and how this applies. Key, successful outcome to your problem. Setting boundaries with your ex-husband needs to become very essential for one. Setting boundaries with your ex-husband needs to become essential for one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I think that's a successful outcome to your problem too. Um, setting boundaries with some kind of ex-husband energy. One of you guys, it sounds like you have an ex-husband and it doesn't sound like you've been setting proper boundaries with them. Um, I heard setting boundaries with your ex-husband, um, would be basically smart. So, of course, you can choose to listen to the psychic intuitive messages, spiritual downloads, or not. Um, only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. So, you have to plug it in, however that resonates, um, and you can choose to listen or not. Uh, but it, one of you guys has an ex-husband, I'll tell you that. And, um, it sounds like it'd be smart to set some boundaries. You plug it in, how it resonates. Kevin, Bo, David, Luis, Brandon, Alex, Bob, okay, so you play it in how resident, Jason, Jamarian, Jamarian. Okay. Maybe that's the name of your ex-husband for some, possibly. Um, or it could be a name of you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel it could be your name, your ex-husband's name, or somebody significant to you name. Um, first name, middle name, last name, nickname. You plug it in how it resonates. Jeremy, Q, Jeremy and Q, I heard Jeremy and Q too, so you plug it in how it resonates, endurance, Working out. Working out is what I heard. Working out. So I feel one of you guys is working out or you're about to start working out. Uh, working out is good for the soul. Y'all know I've been working out, working out, working out, working out. And it's been helping me so freaking much. Just saying, just saying. Um, yeah, I feel one of you guys is working out or you're about to start working out. Um, and I think you're going to build your endurance when you start working out. Because that's what's happened with me. I started at a mile. Now I'll now I'm walking up to five miles a day, uh, sometimes six, seven. I mean, I'm serious. So, and it's happened within the course of two weeks. Of course, everybody's on different levels and I hope don't push yourself too hard. I don't want anybody falling of a heat stroke or anything like that. Consult your medical professional before you start anything str str strenuous. I'm not your medical professional. I am the tarot reader. Okay. But I heard working out and, endur and endurance. So, 
I think one of you guys is about to start working out or you already had, have started working out. And I feel with this, it's going to build your endurance, your strength, your endurance. And I feel you're going to, going to be able to work up um, like I did. I started at one mile. Now I'm like six, seven, eight miles sometimes when I'm walking. Um, sometimes I'm running. Next week, I'm starting running. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. Resilience. The past is about to come up in a huge way for a Capricorn. A huge way. Some in legal issues, some in workplace situations, some in family situations. It'll be smart to be strong on this and tell the truth. Okay. Heard the past is about to come up in a huge way for, um, it sounds like a lot of you guys. It'd be smart to tell the truth. Some it's in workplace situations, some it's in uh, family dynamics. Um, and what was the other one? Some workplace, some family, and some, um, there was another one. Oh, legal issues, legal issues. Um, I heard it be smart kill truth. So having resilience and strength, um, to tell the truth. Um, I, I equate, I equate this resilience part to like a rubber band. You're under pressure, you're under pressure, you're under pressure, but stand strong, firm like a rubber band when it's under pressure. But in this aspect, staying, uh, staying strong and firm, telling the truth um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, on the truth, staying strong and firm on the truth, if that resonates. One older Capricorn is about to get stole from in a huge way by their child. An adult child. It is about to upset you in a huge way. A very, very, very large amount of money know this. They know exactly where it is and they're about to go. Oh my lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is terrible. You plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys has an adult age child. So they're not a minor. They're an adult. 18 or 18 plus child. I feel they are your biological child. For some, it could be your foster child or children. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's biological child. But however that resonates, they are an adult child. 18, 18 plus or what have you. Um... I heard they know exactly where the money is. So I don't feel it's in a bank account. I feel it's somewhere in your home or in a safe or in your vehicle or in a, um, what have you, what have you. It's, I mean, for some, it could be in a bank account, but you plug it in how it resonates, but they know exactly where the hell it is, wherever it is. I didn't hear specifically where it is, but I heard they're about to steal it. And it's a large amount of money, whatever the hell whatever amount it is um yikes this is terrible so you're gonna have to have a lot of strength and endurance when you find out this money is stolen heard it's an adult child about to do this so um you plug it in how it resonates if it's in a bank if it's out of a bank account hopefully you can uh well depending if you gave them the bank account number i mean i don't know i everybody I mean, if you gave them the bank account number, then you gave them the bank account number. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear where it was. I didn't hear where it was. Ooh. A Capricorn is about to reveal information on a Libra they never thought they would, but they're about to realize it's in their best interest in a huge way, and they're about to do it. Okay. 
Okay, I heard a Capricorn is about to reveal information on a Libra in a huge way. Um, they never thought they would, but they realize it's in their best interest now. So you plug it in how it resonates in your own life, Capricorn, Libra and energy. You have a lot of signs in here. Um, you have Aquarius and Leo and Aries and Libra and uh, a little bit of everybody. So um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, heavy Aries energy, but some kind of Libra and energy. Um, they can be a mask or fem Libra. They can have leaves in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem and energy for charts. I heard you're about to reveal information on them. You never thought you would, but you uh, about, it sounds like about to realize it'd be in your best interest to do so. So I think it's information that's going to help you in some shape, form, or fashion if you release the information on them um, is what I'm feeling. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in your own life situation how it resonates Capricorn let me see if I have anything else a theft in a workplace is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life And two co-workers are about to be caught at work soon. Very inappropriate behavior. PDA. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, perhaps. At least one of you guys is in the workforce. Um, I'll tell you that. So, of course, you plug the messages in how it resonates. So, one of you guys... A theft at a workplace is about to become very significant in your life. So I feel you might be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO about to help bust this theft or investigate the theft. Maybe you're HR or, or maybe hopefully you're not the thief. Um, I don't know. I have karmics watching my channel too. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Hopefully you're not the thief, but hell, I, I don't know. Um, but a theft is about to become very significant in a workplace soon. I feel it might be your, your workplace or somebody you're connected to's workplace. You have to plug yourself in over here where you fit. Are you the thief? Is it your work, your workplace? Somebody you're connected to's workplace? Is it somebody you care about getting stole from? You have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay, but some kind of theft in the workplace significant to you soon, whether it's your workplace or somebody you're connected to's workplace. That's for one. And for one, I heard two co-workers about to be caught in PDA soon. Um, inappropriate behavior in a workplace soon. I heard PDA, so public display of affection. Um, you, I don't feel it's you. I feel it's somebody you're connected to, and I feel you might be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO about to investigate this. Um, however that resonates. Um, or maybe you're a co-worker of these people about to catch the PDA and report it. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, but it's not you in that situation. It's, some, it's two co-workers. I feel in your workplace or somebody you're connected to's workplace, some kind of PDA, public display of affection, energy. I'm thinking kissing or caught in the broom closet or clothes are off or they've got hands all over each other or something crazy. However that resonates, okay? These people will end up getting fired. Know this. So much has changed in this workplace. These people will end up getting fired. Know this. So much has changed in this workplace. So I heard these people will end up getting fired. Know this. So much has changed in this workplace. I don't feel it's you. I feel it's maybe you're about to catch these people. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, I don't feel it's you. Um, I heard these people will, will end up getting fired. Know this. So I think it might be your workplace or somebody you're connected to's workplace. But these people will, will end up getting fired because so much has changed in the workplace. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. Yikes. All right. We're getting out of this one. I love you guys. Namaste.